Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, here to deal with a very serious issue. This is what God requires of us who go by His name. Here we are. I want you to hear this plainly. Now, we're going to 1 John chapter 3. Paying attention? All right, grab your Bibles if you choose and listen. Starting at verse 11. For this is the message that we heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. Not as Cain, who was of that wicked one, and slew his brother. And wherefore slew he him? because his own works were evil and his brothers righteous. Marvel not, my brethren, if the world hates you. We know that we have passed from death unto life because we love the brethren. He that loveth not his brother abideth in death. (laughs) Whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer. Now, I, this Pat's two cents. I didn't say that. That's from the Word. Back to the Word. And you know that no murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. Hereby perceive we the love of God, because he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. But whoso hath this world's good, and seeth his brother have need, and shutteth up his bowels of compassion from him, how dwelleth the love of God in him? My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. Amen? We just don't realize how important all this is. We don't really get it. But I'm here to tell you. There is a thing called put your money where your mouth is. That's what God's saying. Love or get off the pot. You hear me? Yeah, I kind of mixed that up a little bit. So you'd really get the point. You know, I hear saints say things like this all the time excuse me they'll say things like oh I just love to give I, I'm a giver I want to be a blessing I want to I mean now I'm not talking about me and my channel this has nothing to do with that don't get that twisted I'm talking about people right in your immediate circle who do you know who has stood up in church now they're trying their best with their money But there's more month than there is money. And by the end of the month, they're struggling. And they've got kids. Or maybe they don't. Maybe they're seniors. And they're on a fixed income. But listen to this. If it is within your means to set aside delayed gratification now. Delay your gratification with that fancy pair of shoes or that pocketbook or their jewelry, or cologne, and you can bless somebody to pay their light bill, love or get off the pot. If you can sit there and say that you want to be like Jesus, you want to look like him, smell like him, talk like him, be like him, And you see a woman out with an arm full of groceries in the rain, waiting for the bus that's going your way. And you have an empty seat in your car, and it doesn't dawn on you to pull over and ask that person for a, to to see if they could use a ride. Now, it's up to them if they choose to get in or not. But God doesn't reward you for their response. He rewards you for your compassion and what you do about it. Love or get off the pot. 
Some of you are in churches, you know that there are some parents who cannot afford tutoring and their children. I'm really feeling this. I'm fighting the tears. So I know this is God. And you have, you know the children are struggling because the parents have been putting in prayer requests when the kids weren't there. And it's not that they're bad kids, they're having a struggle learning for whatever reason. And you have the ability to tutor them? And you never make that move? You never bust a move and call that parent and say hey i can do this bring them over to my house if you don't have a car i'll come over to your house and tutor that child for free now i'm now if the parent can afford it yeah but if they can't afford it give it baby jesus said freely you have received freely give now This is what I mean when I say putting your money where your mouth is. Okay? Love or get off the pot. Here's another one. You see a woman struggling with her kids. She's a single parent. And she's working. And she's having a hard time getting people to watch her kids. She and her husband, maybe her husband died. I'm not talking about a woman out there that's just flinging it around on welfare, just making babies so she can make money and sit on her behind. I'm talking about a woman that's out there, you know, yeah, breaking her back to make ends meet and being responsible to take care of those kids and doing all she can do. And it is within your means to bless her with one or two hundred dollars every single month. She's got an electrical problem that needs fixing. Her car needs new tires. Whatever you see, where you could take a little bit of monkey off her back. Guess what? Love or get off the pot. Okay, now I'm gonna get off your case. Because we have all been thoughtless about things like that. I remember when I was in the choir, the Lord just popped this in my head, so I got to say it. I was standing up at the bus stop. This happened at least 10 times, I believe. And while I'm standing there waiting on the bus to go to choir rehearsal, down the hill comes a car. Now this car comes around a curb where they have to see me. The first thing you see is that corner. And I'm standing at that corner, waiting for the bus. And all that person had to do when they came down the hill was pull over and open the door. But no, they would keep on going every time. It was just a hassle to have to pull over and pick somebody up. So while they were swishing their way onto choir rehearsal, going the same place I was going, having to pass the corner, Where I was standing, I'm not even talking, turning a a corner. I'm talking just pulling over to the curb. They would not do it. Now, I say this to say, there are people that are truly thoughtless. They get so caught up in their life, their needs, their issues, that they don't take a second to think of someone else. It's not in them. It takes a while for God to work that in them. And I know that some of us are a serious work in progress. And some of the issues we have will take Superman to handle in a very long period of time. But for those of us who can see, who have an ear to hear, an eye to see, a mind to understand, and a heart to feel, do what you can love or get off the pot this isn't a thing this isn't a sorority where we stand up and we show off our pedigree and we we uh, uh show our degrees and and our accomplishments and we move on to the top of the corporate ladder 
and we walk all over those that are in the basement? No, that's not God's way. That may be how you get over, but not with God. Not with God. Love or get off the pot. Amen? Amen. God bless you. And yes, I wish you well. Ha, 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 ha.